Hello friend welcome to my channel's health is wealth today we talk about the health benefits of garlic. Garlic helps boost your body's immune system. Garlic helps reduce high blood pressure. Garlic helps reduce cholesterol levels. Garlic can help with prevention of cancer. Garlic has antibiotic properties. Dot dot dot. Garlic may prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. Garlic is a popular ingredient enjoyed for both its unique flavor and powerful health benefits. However, garlic is usually sautéed, roasted, or baked before being added to recipes. For this reason, many people are unsure whether raw garlic is safe to consume. This article takes a closer look at whether you can eat raw garlic, along with the potential benefits and downsides of doing so. Healthy Eating Meal Prep Vitamins and Supplements Lifestyle Diets Weight management's garlic is a popular ingredient enjoyed for both its unique flavor and powerful health benefits. However, garlic is usually sautéed, roasted, or baked before being added to recipes. For this reason, many people are unsure whether raw garlic is safe to consume. This article takes a closer look at whether you can eat raw garlic, along with the potential benefits and downsides of doing so. Can you eat raw garlic? In most recipes, garlic is typically cooked or used in powdered form. Cooking garlic alters its taste and texture, making it softer, milder, and creamier and giving it a more subtle flavor and aroma. However, it can also be enjoyed raw rather than cooked. Although raw garlic tends to have a stronger, more pungent flavor, it can be consumed safely and makes a great addition to many dishes. In fact, raw garlic is often added to dips, dressings, and sauces like aioli or pesto. What's more, raw garlic may even retain more beneficial compounds than cooked garlic and improve several aspects of your health. Nutrition Healthy Eating Meal Prep Vitamins and Supplements Lifestyle Diets Weight Management Conditions Products Garlic is a popular ingredient enjoyed for both its unique flavor and powerful health benefits. However, garlic is usually sautéed, roasted, or baked before being added to recipes. For this reason, many people are unsure whether raw garlic is safe to consume. This article takes a closer look at whether you can eat raw garlic, along with the potential benefits and downsides of doing so. Can you eat raw garlic? In most recipes, garlic is typically cooked or used in powdered form. Cooking garlic alters its taste and texture, making it softer, milder, and creamier and giving it a more subtle flavor and aroma. However, it can also be enjoyed raw rather than cooked. Although raw garlic tends to have a stronger, more pungent flavor, it can be consumed safely and makes a great addition to many dishes. In fact, raw garlic is often added to dips, dressings, and sauces like aioli or pesto. What's more, raw garlic may even retain more beneficial compounds than cooked garlic and improve several aspects of your health. Although raw garlic has a stronger, more pungent flavor than cooked garlic, it's safe to consume and can be added to various recipes. Health Benefits of Raw Garlic Garlic is a great source of allicin, a sulfur-containing compound associated with many health benefits one trusted source. Allicin, which is responsible for the distinct taste and smell of garlic, is produced when fresh garlic is crushed or chopped one trusted source. Interestingly, some research suggests that allicin could help enhance the function of your immune system and may offer some protection against conditions like heart disease and cancer one trusted source. However, studies show that roasting, boiling, heating, or pickling garlic can significantly reduce its allicin content, two trusted source, three trusted source. Therefore, while consuming cooked garlic can be beneficial, opting for raw garlic instead may help maximize its nutritional value. Here are a few of the potential health benefits of raw garlic. Improves immunity. Several studies show that garlic may help decrease inflammation and boost immune function, which may be due to its content of antioxidants and sulfur-containing compounds like allicin, 4 trusted source, 5 trusted source. Supports heart health. Some research suggests that garlic may help lower blood pressure and decrease cholesterol levels to support heart health, 6 trusted source. Stabilizes blood sugar levels. Garlic may help reduce fasting blood sugar levels and improve blood sugar management, which may be beneficial for managing type 2 diabetes, 7 trusted source, 8 trusted source. Protects brain health. Although research in humans is limited, animal studies show that consuming high amounts of fresh garlic or aged garlic extract could improve memory and support brain health. 7 Potential Benefits of Adding Garlic to Your Recipes and Meals Garlic isn't just great for enhancing the flavor of your favorite dishes, it may be good for your health. The plant compounds in garlic may help strengthen your immune system and stave off inflammation. If you remember one thing from this article, let it be this, garlic breath is good. 
Seriously, if you've eaten your fair share of garlic today, you've done a service to your health. But what is garlic, and why is it so good for you? Garlic belongs in the Allium family, explains Suda Raj, PhD, RDN, a teaching professor at Syracuse University's FOP College of Sport and Human Dynamics in Syracuse, New York. Allium refers to a class of plants that also contains onions, scallions, leeks, and shallots. It contains phytochemicals such as allicin and organosulfur compounds, Dr. Raj adds. These phytochemicals or plant compounds are responsible for the plant's heart-healthy, immune-supportive, anti-inflammatory, and nutritional properties. One note, the scientific backing for many of these benefits is based on studies involving supplements and extracts including powders and capsules which may provide doses higher than you'd get from food. Currently, garlic is widely used for several conditions linked to the blood system and heart, including atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, high cholesterol, heart attack, coronary heart disease, and hypertension. Garlic is also used today by some people for the prevention of lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, stomach cancer, rectal cancer, and colon cancer. It is important to add that only some of these uses are backed by research. Benefits below are examples of some scientific studies published in peer-reviewed academic journals about the therapeutic benefits, or not, of garlic. Lung cancer risk people who ate raw garlic at least twice a week during the seven-year study period had a 44% lower risk of developing lung cancer, according to a study conducted at the Jiangsu Provincial Center for Disease Control and Prevention in China. Brain cancer organosulfur compounds found in garlic have been identified as effective in destroying the cells in glioblastomastrusted source, a type of deadly brain tumor. Hip osteoarthritis women whose diets were rich in allium vegetables had lower levels of osteoarthritis trusted source, a team at King's College London and the University of East Anglia, both in England, reported in the journal BMC Musculoskeletal Disorders. Examples of allium vegetables include garlic, leeks, shallots, onions, and rocchio. Potentially a powerful antibiotic dialyl sulfide, a compound in garlic, was 100 times more effective than two popular antibiotics in fighting the Campylobacter bacterium, according to a study published in the Journal of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. The Campylobacter bacterium is one of the most common causes of intestinal infections. High cholesterol and high blood pressure researchers at Ankara University investigated the effects of garlic extract supplementation on the blood lipid fat profile of patients with high blood cholesterol. Their study was published in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry. The study involved 23 volunteers, all with high cholesterol, 13 of them also had high blood pressure. They were divided into two groups. The high cholesterol normotensive group, normal blood pressure. The high cholesterol hypertensive group, high blood pressure. They took garlic extract supplements for four months and were regularly checked for blood lipid parameters, as well as kidney and liver function. At the end of the four months, the researchers concluded, Garlic extract supplementation improves blood lipid profile, strengthens blood antioxidant potential, and causes significant reductions in systolic and diastolic blood pressures. It also leads to a decrease in the level of oxidation product MDA, in the blood samples, which demonstrates reduced oxidation reactions in the body. In other words, the garlic extract supplements reduced high cholesterol levels, and also blood pressure in the patients with hypertension. The scientists added that theirs was a small study, more work needs to be carried out. Prostate cancer doctors at the Department of Urology, China-Japan Friendship Hospital, Beijing, China, carried out a study evaluating the relationship between allium vegetable consumption and prostate cancer risk. Alcohol-induced liver injury Alcohol-induced liver injury is caused by the long-term overconsumption of alcoholic beverages. Scientists at the Institute of Toxicology, School of Public Health, Shandong University, China, wanted to determine whether dialyl disulfide, DADS, a garlic-derived organosulfur compound, might have protective effects against ethanol-induced oxidative stress. Preterm, premature, delivery microbial infections during pregnancy raise a woman's risk of preterm delivery. Scientists at the Division of Epidemiology, Norwegian Institute of Public Health, studied what impact foods might have on antimicrobial infections and preterm delivery risk. Garlic and the Common Cold A team of researchers from St. Joseph Family Medicine Residency, Indiana, carried out a study titled, Treatment of the Common Cold in Children and Adults, published in American Family Physician. They reported that, prophylactic use of garlic may decrease the frequency of colds in adults, but has no effect on duration of symptoms. Prophylactic use means using it regularly to prevent disease.
Though there is some research to suggest that raw garlic has the most benefits, other studies have looked at overall allium intake, both raw and cooked, and have found benefits. Therefore, you can enjoy garlic in a variety of ways to reap its advantages. What are the benefits of garlic? Garlic allium sativum is used widely as a flavoring in cooking, but it has also been used as a medicine throughout ancient and modern history. It has been taken to prevent and treat a wide range of conditions and diseases. Garlic belongs to the genus Allium and is closely related to the onion, rakio, and onion found in Asia, scallion, chive, leek, and shallot. It has been used by humans for thousands of years and was used in ancient Egypt for both culinary purposes and its health and therapeutic benefits. Currently, garlic is widely used for several conditions linked to the blood system and heart, including atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, high cholesterol, heart attack, coronary heart disease, and hypertension. Garlic is also used today by some people for the prevention of lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, stomach cancer, rectal cancer, and colon cancer. It is important to add that only some of these uses are backed by research. A study published in the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology warned that short-term heating reduces the anti-inflammatory effects of fresh raw garlic extracts. This may be a problem for some people who do not like or cannot tolerate the taste and or odor of fresh garlic. People commonly use garlic for high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol or other fats in the blood, and hardening of the arteries. It is also used for the common cold, osteoarthritis, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. There is also no good evidence to support using garlic for COVID-19. Painful Uterine Disorder Endometriosis Taking garlic powder tablets by mouth daily for three months seems to improve pain in people with this condition. Hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis. Taking garlic powder by mouth, alone or with other ingredients, seems to help slow hardening of the arteries. Garlic, allium sativum, is an herb related to onion, leeks, and chives. It is commonly used for conditions related to the heart and blood system. Garlic produces a chemical called allicin. This is what seems to make garlic work for certain conditions. Allicin also makes garlic smell. Some products are made odorless, by aging the garlic, but this process can also change the effects of garlic. People commonly use garlic for high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol or other fats in the blood, and hardening of the arteries. It is also used for the common cold, osteoarthritis, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. There is also no good evidence to support using garlic for COVID-19. Uses and Effectiveness possibly effective for a painful uterine disorder endometriosis. Taking garlic powder tablets by mouth daily for three months seems to improve pain in people with this condition. Hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis. Taking garlic powder by mouth, alone or with other ingredients, seems to help slow hardening of the arteries. Diabetes. Taking garlic powder by mouth seems to reduce pre-meal blood sugar levels by a small amount in people with or without diabetes. It seems to work best if it is taken for at least three months. It's unclear if garlic reduces post-meal blood sugar levels or HbA1c levels. High levels of cholesterol or other fats lipids in the blood hyperlipidemia. Taking garlic by mouth daily for at least eight weeks might reduce total cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein LDL, bad, cholesterol in people with high cholesterol levels. But any benefit is probably small. And taking garlic doesn't help increase high-density lipoprotein, HDL, good, cholesterol, or lower levels of other blood fats called triglycerides. High blood pressure. Taking garlic by mouth seems to reduce systolic blood pressure, the top number, by about 7 to 9 mmHg and diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, by about 4 to 6 mmHg in people with high blood pressure. Buildup of fat in the liver in people who drink little or no alcohol, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Taking garlic powder by mouth seems to help to improve liver health in people with NAFLD. People who eat more garlic also seem to be less likely to be diagnosed with NAFLD. A serious gum infection, periodontitis. Taking aged garlic extract by mouth twice daily for 18 months can help improve gum health in people who have mild or moderate periodontitis. Possibly ineffective for stomach cancer. People who eat more garlic or take garlic supplements by mouth don't seem to have a lower chance of developing stomach cancer. A digestive tract infection that can lead to ulcers, Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. Taking garlic by mouth does not seem to help treat H. pylori infections. There is interest in using garlic for a number of other purposes, but there isn't enough reliable information to say whether it might be helpful. Side effects when taken by mouth. 
Garlic is likely safe for most people. Garlic has been used safely for up to seven years. It can cause side effects such as bad breath, heartburn, gas, and diarrhea. These side effects are often worse with raw garlic. Garlic might also increase the risk of bleeding and cause allergic reactions in some people. When applied to the skin, garlic products are possibly safe. Gels, pastes, and mouthwashes containing garlic have been used for up to three months. But garlic might cause skin damage that is similar to a burn. Raw garlic is possibly unsafe when applied to the skin. It might cause severe skin irritation. Cautions Interactions Dosing Reviews 48 Overview Garlic Allium sativum is an herb related to onion, leeks, and chives. It is commonly used for conditions related to the heart and blood system. Garlic produces a chemical called allicin. This is what seems to make garlic work for certain conditions. Allicin also makes garlic smell. Some products are made, odorless, by aging the garlic, but this process can also change the effects of garlic. People commonly use garlic for high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol or other fats in the blood, and hardening of the arteries. It is also used for the common cold, osteoarthritis, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. There is also no good evidence to support using garlic for COVID-19. Uses and effectiveness Possibly effective for a painful uterine disorder endometriosis. Taking garlic powder tablets by mouth daily for three months seems to improve pain in people with this condition. Hardening of the arteries atherosclerosis. Taking garlic powder by mouth, alone or with other ingredients, seems to help slow hardening of the arteries. Diabetes. Taking garlic powder by mouth seems to reduce pre-meal blood sugar levels by a small amount in people with or without diabetes. It seems to work best if it is taken for at least three months. It's unclear if garlic reduces post-meal blood sugar levels or HbA1c levels. High levels of cholesterol or other fats lipids in the blood hyperlipidemia. Taking garlic by mouth daily for at least eight weeks might reduce total cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein LDL, bad, cholesterol in people with high cholesterol levels. But any benefit is probably small. And taking garlic doesn't help increase high-density lipoprotein HDL, good, cholesterol, or lower levels of other blood fats called triglycerides. High blood pressure. Taking garlic by mouth seems to reduce systolic blood pressure, the top number, by about 7 to 9 mmHg and diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, by about 4 to 6 mmHg in people with high blood pressure. Buildup of fat in the liver in people who drink little or no alcohol, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Taking garlic powder by mouth seems to help to improve liver health in people with NAFLD. People who eat more garlic also seem to be less likely to be diagnosed with NAFLD. A serious gum infection, periodontitis. Taking aged garlic extract by mouth twice daily for 18 months can help improve gum health in people who have mild or moderate periodontitis. Possibly ineffective for stomach cancer. People who eat more garlic or take garlic supplements by mouth don't seem to have a lower chance of developing stomach cancer. A digestive tract infection that can lead to ulcers, Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. Taking garlic by mouth does not seem to help treat H. pylori infections. There is interest in using garlic for a number of other purposes, but there isn't enough reliable information to say whether it might be helpful. Side effects when taken by mouth. Garlic is likely safe for most people. Garlic has been used safely for up to seven years. It can cause side effects such as bad breath, heartburn, gas, and diarrhea. These side effects are often worse with raw garlic. Garlic might also increase the risk of bleeding and cause allergic reactions in some people. When applied to the skin, garlic products are possibly safe. Gels, pastes, and mouthwashes containing garlic have been used for up to three months. But garlic might cause skin damage that is similar to a burn. Raw garlic is possibly unsafe when applied to the skin. It might cause severe skin irritation. Special precautions and warnings when taken by mouth. Garlic is likely safe for most people. Garlic has been used safely for up to seven years. It can cause side effects such as bad breath, heartburn, gas, and diarrhea. These side effects are often worse with raw garlic. Garlic might also increase the risk of bleeding and cause allergic reactions in some people. When applied to the skin, garlic products are possibly safe. Gels, pastes, and mouthwashes containing garlic have been used for up to three months. But garlic might cause skin damage that is similar to a burn. Raw garlic is possibly unsafe when applied to the skin. It might cause severe skin irritation. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Garlic is likely safe to take by mouth in the amounts normally found in food. 
Garlic is possibly unsafe when used in medicinal amounts during pregnancy and when breastfeeding. There isn't enough reliable information about the safety of applying garlic to the skin if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Stay on the safe side and avoid use. Garlic is possibly safe when taken by children in doses of up to 300 mg three times daily for up to eight weeks. There isn't enough reliable information to know if garlic is safe when used in larger doses or for longer than eight weeks. It is possibly unsafe to apply raw garlic to the skin. It might burn the skin. Bleeding disorder. Garlic, especially fresh garlic, might increase the risk of bleeding. Garlic contains antioxidants that support the body's protective mechanisms against oxidative damage 19. High doses of garlic supplements have been shown to increase antioxidant enzymes in humans, as well as significantly reduce oxidative stress in people with high blood pressure. Garlic is highly nutritious and associated with a variety of health benefits. However, if you eat too much of it, it may cause side effects like bad breath, acid reflux, digestive issues, and an increased risk of bleeding. One review of 18 studies concluded that garlic helped boost sperm production and increase levels of testosterone, which may be due to its antioxidant properties 9. In a recent animal study, s cysteine a compound found in garlic, increased testosterone production in mice. Garlic on empty stomach is very effective for preventing and curing different diseases. Studies have shown that garlic if eaten on an empty stomach acts as a powerful antibiotic. It is more effective when you eat it before breakfast because bacteria is exposed and cannot defend itself from succumbing to its power. Raw garlic contains a component called allicin, which helps in thinning the blood and reduces the cholesterol levels. Thus, the best way to consume garlic is by eating raw garlic on an empty stomach as the fresh garlic contains allicin and this component gets diluted during the process of cooking. That's all about garlic thank you please do like subscribe my channel for more content.